There are problems in the world. Each year, more are unfurled. Climate change has been there. The pandemic brought its share. Inequality is very dire and maybe getting even higher. And since the Russia-Ukraine war, the world has had to then endure an unexpected commodity boom. All these dangers constantly loom. Some countries succumbed to all this flack. But we are on a better track. And as commodity prices decline, our inflation numbers should be fine. We already know we will survive. And now there's hope we will thrive. Our economy is growing fast. And there are signs that this will last. It looks like we will thrive while India is at 75. Though there are many reasons to cheer, today's India, I sometimes fear, Tagore's heaven of freedom is far away. His clear stream of reason has run astray in the desert sand of traditional thought. Instead of new avenues being sought, are we responding to a higher call or breaking in fragments divided by a wall? I sincerely hope that we will be the true spirit of democracy where institutions will be strong. Now, building them takes very long, but often we can find a way to subvert or break them in a day. I'd like to see much more free speech, but the state's long arm doesn't reach and crushes voices that oppose, but active debate thrives and grows where ideas win because they're right and not because of mere might. Where everyone has equal rights and personal dreams are within our sights, where all our skills can be used and nobody is ever abused, where all have their opportunity and therefore there's no penury, where our thoughts are never sectarian, but very firmly humanitarian, where hateful thoughts are gone and done and we are at peace with everyone, where even those who often hate, we can convince, but not Gate, where our weather is no longer cursed since climate change has been reversed. Whenever there's a flaw you see, please try and act collectively, but never stoop to moan and groan. And if you must, please act alone. Let us hope we have both social rights and economic growth. Let us bear all this in mind. There are solutions we can find if we take everyone on board and proceed with good accord. Indeed, I hope we can see Tagore's heaven by India's centenary. Where the mind is without fear and the head is held high, where knowledge is free, where the world has not been broken up into fragments by narrow domestic walls, where words come out from the depth of truth, where tireless striving stretches its arms towards perfection, where the clear stream of reason has not lost its way, into the dreary desert sand of dead habit, where the mind is led forward by thee into ever widening thought and action, into that heaven of freedom, my father, let my country awake. Can we awake into Tagore's heaven by 2047? The times are tough, but we stand stall. We must beware lest we fall. If we are smart as well as wise, Surely India is bound to rise. And every Independence Day, Anil and India will hold sway. Thank you.